A ball driven deep to right. This one is not coming back. It's gone. Logan Swanger, a no-doubter to right field, his 15th home run of the year. And the Tiffin Dragons strike first as they take a 2-0 lead here in the top of the first inning. RBIs 57 and 58. He had him baffled. Here's a ball drilled out toward left center field. That's down for a hit. Here comes Milam around third. He will score easily. Trebekka on the board here in the bottom of the second inning. It's now 2-1. to one. Dragons Logan West continues to deliver. A solid single out to left center field. Abbott Lawrence moves to second base. It's a one-run ball game here in the bottom of the second inning. Payoff pitch. Hit up the middle, and it's going to be through into center field. That's a hit. Abbott Lawrence turns third. He comes to the plate and ties the game. Logan West to second. Carter Warner slapped one back up the middle that was uh, off the top of the mound and took some funny hops as it got out to the second base bag. Hatfield tried to slide in front of it. It's an RBI single, and this game is tied 2-2. This one socked into center field. That's a base hit. Logan West being waved around. Thayman up with the ball, throwing, and it's cut off. Relay throw to the plate anyway. Too late. Andrew Becker, a line drive single. Trevecca takes the lead. Three to two here in the bottom of the second. He's two for two in the championship game, and he drives in his 33rd run of the year. Mangrum six hits in the tournament, but looking to drive in his first run in the postseason. Johnson to the plate, and a fly ball lifted to shallow left center field. Could be trouble. It's still dropping, and it is in. It falls in the triangle. That scores Andrew Becker. It's a 4-2 Trebekah lead on the Texas League single by Haven Mangrum. Keel trailed this game 2 to nothing. After the top of the first inning, a Logan Swanger home run for the Tiffin Dragons put him ahead. That's a pretty well-struck ball. Andrew Becker back in right. He gets to the wall, and it's gone! It just kept carrying to deep right field. And Ty Hatfield has cut the lead in half with his second home run of the season. Well, you knew it was pretty well hit, and then David, when Becker got back to the wall and then turned around to try and play it off the wall, you knew it was had a chance to get out. I'm not sure that ranked in the category of hittable. That one is. It's drilled to deep right. Clancy going back, still going back. At the wall, it's off the base of the fence for Milam. Haven Mangrum around third. He's headed to the plate. No throw. David Milam bangs one off the wall in right center field. It's an RBI double. He drives in Mangrum. It's 5-3 Trebekah here in the bottom of the fifth inning. They extend the lead to two in the GMAC championship game. Every single swing and run and opportunity so critical in a tight game like this. The pitch. That's a drive. Right field. Clancy going back. He looks up. It's out of here. Home run for Abbott Lawrence. Two run shot to right. He makes it a seven to three ball game. Abbott Lawrence's 14th home run. His second hit of the day. It's another big time rally for the Trojans here in the fifth. On our center field view. Diving stop over at third base. Long throw across is in time. That scores a run. Fairbrother gets the RBI. That makes it seven to four. What a stop. Everybody's happy, right? Tiffin gets a run on a ground out. Trevecca's ecstatic because Carter Warner saves a base hit here by making a fantastic diving play. The athleticism to get to his feet and then make a perfect throw to first base for the out. Bottom half of the sixth inning in the championship game of the 2024 GMAC postseason tournament. Yeah, Lifted yeah. in the air to center field. Thayman comes in, makes the catch. West tags. He's headed for the plate. He scores. It's 8-4 Trojans. 
RBI sacrifice fly for Andrew Becker. His second RBI in the championship game is 34th of the year. And the Trojans have doubled up on the Dragons here in the sixth. McCallum, who was tied for third in the conference in doubles this year, bangs one straight through the middle. Mangrum will hit third base. He's going to try and score. The throw from Thayman will again be cut off. Cole McCallum's first hit of the day and his fourth run batted in of the tournament will push the lead out to 9-4. to four. And a rope down the left field line. Past the diving fair brother. Here comes the throw. It will not be in time. Abbott Lawrence with his third run batted into the day, and it's 10 4, Trevecca Nazarene. Now, Fair Brother's going to get a glove on it, but not a whole lot he could do. As it caromed right past him into left field. Swope to the plate. Line drive, Clancy will play it on a hop in right. They're going to bring around the runner, Lawrence. Here comes the throw by Brazier, not made as the first baseman cuts it off. Second RBI single of the day by Carter Warner, 11-4, to Trevecca. 6-3, right-hander. Comes set. And Thayman back to the mound, but it fell out of the pitcher's glove and then throws it away down the line. Brazier has scored, Swanger has scored. And everybody else to second and third. And an error will be charged to McDonough, the pitcher. Payoff pitch. Slow roller right side. The only play Reese will have is to go to first. They will get it out, it will play to run. And it is now 11 to eight, Trevecca Nazarene. Fly ball, right center, Thayman on the run, track, wall, it's gone! It just kept carrying it again up into that jet stream, and Joey Parliament, his third home run of the tournament. And it's 12 to eight, Trojans. Yeah. That's pretty well struck to center field. Thayman to the wall again, and it is gone! And that is over that batter's eye in center field. That is a blast by Cole McCallum as they hit their second of the inning. Two men down here in the eighth. And on the first pitch, another towering blast to center field, and it is gone! Hedges just turns and looks back to his catcher, Isaiah Mirabal, and they just kind of stare at each other. Second homer of the game by Lawrence. It's 14 to eight, Trevecca, top of the ninth inning. That one over for a strike, and it's two and one. The Trojans are 10 games over 500. 31 and 21. Line Ooh. shot back off of Reese, it rolls oh. into left field. Fairbrother will score. Coming to third is Thayman. They're on the corners, and Braden Reese is hurting. And I think he said to the dugout, I'm done. He walked over right to the dugout. That one caught him flush in the right arm. Trevecca, one out away from the tourney title. Wilkins working on Maribel. Ground ball to shortstop. Griffin has it. He fields. He will throw all the way to first. In time, it's all over. The Trevecca Trojans. In their final year in the GMAC, they will walk away with the tournament championship. The final score at Brasco Park, the Trojans 14 and the Dragons 9.
Elation on the field, disappointment in the Tiffin dugout after a remarkable run as the number seven seed in this tournament. In the ninth inning for the Dragons, one run on three hits. There were no errors, two runners were left on base. Handshakes beginning as well as some consolation. The tournament is over and Trebekah Nazarene will be taking the GMAC trophy back to Nashville one final time.